in the last episode of Blocks Fruits, we became max level at level 20. That's that's the max level, right, guys? It's it's not 2,300? Yeah, the max level is 2,300 in this game. I, I was thinking about getting max level, but then I thought, you know, um, I, I want to see my kids. I want to see my family. I want to see the outdoors. But that's probably not going to happen because we're going to grind for it. I'm going to do a series grinding Blocks Fruits on the second channel because you guys seem to really like the first episode. And again, I'm a complete noob, so if you're watching this as a veteran, as a seasoned Blocks Roots player, you might cringe at some of the things I do, but we're here to learn, okay? I got myself the Dark Blade, and I got myself 3,900 bucks, and we're gonna complete some quests. We're gonna make it through the area, and we're gonna try to become a Blocks Fruits master. Smash that like button if you're hyped, and seriously, if you wanna see more of this series, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I post daily, and I'm gonna do a lot more Blocks Fruits because it is fun to grind, and also, you guys really liked it, so, I mean, what better way than to do more of it, right? I mean, wait, what? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, I'm on the Pirates team yet again and I'm destroying monkeys. That's what I do here, all right? I see monkeys, I destroy. Unless they're good monkeys, but in this case, they're bad monkeys. Uh, my Dark Blade Mastery is 15 out of 600. There is a lot of grinding in this game. Um, I keep forgetting I can queue and like run and stuff like that. Uh, and then this quest guy, did I actually, did I win this quest yet? Or uh, complete it, I mean? Monkeys, 10 monkeys. So I'm gonna be 10 monkeys, I get a lot of experience. And then while I'm doing, I get experience. So I guess the best way to do leveling is just like questing and stuff. A lot of people were recommending different fruits that I should get, that I should buy stuff from the shops. And I'm gonna check out a lot of the shops. This guy's got a black. Block, <laughs> blocks for dealer's cousin. Okay, I'm the cousin, sometimes known as cousin. I sell randomly random physical fruits to people once every two hours. Keep in mind, the higher your level is, the more it'll cost you. You currently have 3,900. You're level 20, so the next fruit you purchase is gonna. What? That's a lot. I don't have enough money. He told me I have that much money. How am I supposed to like? I'm gonna level up and it's gonna cost more. How am I supposed to get it if it's gonna cost more when I level up? Because I won't have as much, or maybe I'll have more. I don't know. All I know is I need to level up a bit. I'm level 21. And I was actually so curious what the max level is. I was like, I was thinking the max level was probably like, I don't know, 100, but it's apparently 2,300. And there's actually a list on the description of the game of all the fruits, bomb, spike, chop, spring, kilo, smoke, spin, to name a few. There's a lot more. And I actually got the rubber, I believe, and I had another one as well, but I have rubber currently activated. So I can basically use that pistol power, um, but does it actually level up both masteries if I use them both through the fight or do I have to like KO it with only that? You know what I mean? I think I have to actually KO them with only the fruit. So like, I should probably level it up, but it's just, it's hard, bro. Like, it's a little bit hard to level up, so I just feel like I have to use Dark Blade for now to, like, experience, like, level up my player. Oh, I also have stats. I gotta up these stats a bit. So, sh what should I focus on, guys? I feel like I, I feel like a lot of people are suggesting me to focus on Blocks Fruit stats, but if I upgrade this Dark Blade a lot, like, look, let's say I just go full force into that, right? Now I have level 34 sword. This sword is doing damage now, and I can KO these monkeys so much faster i do like three or four hits and then i like i can just keep on doing this look at this i can do even more now and i can always reset the stats whenever so it's not a big deal if i if i put it in the wrong spot um but if you look at the bounty up there i have a bounty of 890 these guys have 2.4 million like insane stats so they actually i, I guess that what the bounty is is if you ki kill that player you get that much money so you could probably boost in this game by like just letting letting someone of lower level like ko a really good guy and maybe i'll get free money if if anyone wants to do that i'm kidding unless <laughs> no i want to i want to play this the traditional way i want to actually like i want to actually grind you know what i'm saying so i'm currently in the jungle area and last episode i got a boat i made it all the way here to get to the next area i don't remember what level you have to be but i'm doing pretty good i'm leveling up i got my sword to level 43 Oh God, is this guy gonna fight me? Don't tell me. Oh, cannot attack players lower than level 20. So I think he's like really low level and he's just trying to fight me, but he can't. So I'm actually stronger than somebody? Dude, no way. And now I have 5,600. So we're actually making some money here. Uh, do we have these boosts on by the way? We do. Oh, you can buy money straight up. You can also, so you can change your race, bosses, stats, all that stuff. What do I not have right now? Do I have two times money? I don't have two times money. I might as well get that. I feel like if I'm gonna play this a lot, that's probably a good investment. Uh, two times max. 
mastery. Oh my gosh, do I not have that? That would make things much faster. Definitely want that. Uh, fruit notifier. I don't even know what that means, but I don't want it for now because I don't know what it means. <laughs> um, so let's keep exploring. I know that I have to just complete these quests and that'll just keep giving me experience, but what else do I have to do? Oh, let's use 1000 slices. Oh my. I mean, it's pretty good and all, but like it didn't actually do more damage than my normal hit. Um, so let's just talk to this guy again. Ooh, is there like a secret in here? What is this? Oh, I guess not. All right, let's talk to this quest guy again. Uh, I'm going to do monkeys again. And then eventually I could probably start doing gorillas and stuff. But this is where we're at so far. I have $5,800. I'm going to be getting more money now, which is good. So how much do I get for each one? I got 156. And you can see my multipliers are up there. Let's fight this monkey. This guy can't do anything. Yes. All right, we're at mastery 19 as well. So we're actually leveling up a lot. Like my mastery is going up. Mastery is level 20. Now it's going up times two. This is huge. That's actually really good. But it doesn't look like there's anything else around this area. It looks like I have to travel by boat to go to other areas of the jungle or fight other enemies. Like when it says fight gorillas, where are the gorillas? Are they over there? I have no idea where they are. Let me just fight these six monkeys and get this next XP boost because I'll level up from it. And then we're going to buy, we're going to grab another quest for like gorillas and we'll see like where they are. Let me fight this last monkey. Ready? He's dead to me. You're dead to me. Easy. Um, a lot of people did suggest I should level up the blocks fruits like I was saying, but I don't exactly know. Like it's probably better to level up my player with the sword and then start using it once I'm like stronger overall, right? I don't know because... I'm not doing much damage with the blocks fruits and it takes forever. I can only use this one. So like you have to get the masteries up a lot. You know what I mean? Oh, you can die to water, by the way. Definitely uh, be careful out there in the water. Oh, here's the gorillas. So I should probably... Oh, dang, they do a good amount of damage. I should probably grab the gorilla quest. So let's go back here. Ah, water hurts. Yeah, let's go back to this quest guy and we'll grab the gorilla quest. Eh, eh, I can't get up here. Okay, yeah, let's go back to this guy, grab the gorilla quest and see how much we get. So there's also one for the gorilla king. Um, um, this gorilla one, eight gorillas should be easy enough because they're not that tough. And I get a lot of experience for it. 4,500 and $1,200. So at the end of this quest, I should have 10,000 bucks. I don't really know what I need the money for though. Like I know boats and blocks fruits, but what else? Maybe I can get better weapons. Oh, there's the gorilla king, by the way. All right, let's fight these normal gorillas for now. We're not going to fight those. Oh, I have something on allies. Did somebody invite me to be an ally? Sure. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Um, And I'll level this up even more. My sword is a level 52 that's probably not the way i want to go but look at how much damage i do with swords now i'm just destroying i'm destroying these gorillas with swords i need to destroy four more to get this huge experience boost and i'm level 27 i can't believe people are level 2300 like how is that even possible if you're level if you're level like 2000 plus let me know in the comments i just i can't even fathom it okay so two more gorillas and we'll get a big experience boost and we just got 10,000 bucks here's our last one and now we're level 29 almost 30. Oh, we did it. Level 30. So yeah, these gorilla quests are massive at the moment. And now I can make it to a new territory. Find the NPC at Pirate Village. So I guess we should track that because now we're at another, we're able to go to another place. So we probably have to uh, go by boat because the water hurts you. So let's up our stats real quick. Might as well just <laughs> up sword again. I know people are probably cringing. I, ne I need to do blocks fruits or whatever, but I'm going to wait until I get a little bit higher level as a player. Um, all right. So we got to go this way. We got to go to our boat on the dock. And then I think we'll just make it to the next area. How much are these like regular monkeys giving me? Oh my gosh, 27 mastery it's going up there so as you get more mastery i don't know if it like necessarily levels up your sword damage i think it only does the uh what you can do like abilities you can do you know what i mean uh is that my boat i don't think so all right let's go over here do i have to spawn my boat how do i like spawn it boat dealer what do we got here boat dealer i got a dinghy and i got a sloop uh sloop purchase failed what oh is this mine oh i think this is mine okay cool i'll take it um so now we have to follow this so it's telling me to go back here is this guy driving am i driving or is he driving i don't actually know i don't actually know who's driving but i need him to take me here thank you sir Oh my gosh, wait, our bounty total is 3.8 million. Uh, bring me here, sir. Bring me, bring me here. Let me just jump out and dive. Ah, okay, we made it. So we got to go back here. That guy is insane. That guy's 3.8 million. All right, so here, I don't think I've been here. Weapon dealer, what does this guy have? This guy's got guns? I'm going to say never mind, but that's sick. Hi, thanks. This guy's saying he's a big fan. Cool. Now help me get better. <laughs> oh, here's an inventory. Welcome. This can be used to store. Oh, you can store weapons. So I have my 
katana here. And then there's my mythical dark blade. And then this is a miscellaneous guy. Oh, it's a spawn point. I don't really want to do that because I, I think I want to spawn at the last area I was at. Look, there's like wanted posters of people that have... <laughs> I wonder if there's a wanted poster of me. I bet you there is. Wanted poster of this guy. Oh, here's a shop as well. Blocks fruit dealer. All right, let's see what this guy's got. I searched the world for blocks fruits. Buying them will give you a fruit power. What do we got here? So this guy's got all these different blocks fruits. I'm not sure if rubber is like the best one ever or just one of the best or something, but it apparently is pretty good. Dang, all of these. Where does rubber stand against all of these? Rubber seems to be pretty decent if it's all the way up here. Maybe I should get it all the way upgraded, you know? What if I reset? Would you like to refund points? Okay, let's refund my points and then put them all into blocks fruit. Imagine. Imagine what's going to happen. <sighs> if I do all into blocks fruit, maybe some into defense. Let's get defense to like 12. All into blocks fruit. Now when I use this, even though I can only use one ability, it's going to do a lot more damage and then I should be able to level it up faster. So that's good. But what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to talk to the quest NPC or something? Oh, there's a luxury boat dealer. There's a shop guy. That's another boat. I thought I was in a safe zone, bro. I thought I was in a safe zone. Okay, you know what? Joke's on him because I actually wanted to be here. Um, I wanted to fight enemies with my new blocks fruit ability. So, haha. -ha. Joke's on you. Thank you for helping. <laughs> kind of sad. All right, so now when I do Z, um, wait, Z. Okay, so now it does like half his health. But look, see, I have to wait till Pistol comes back. I can't do anything else until I get it and then I can use it again. So it's gonna take a really long time. Oh wait, actually it won't take that long to level up because all we have to do is get to 20 and then we can use two abilities. So we'll be able to use Z, but if we use X and we'll just keep on spamming it. But I just, don't steal my mastery, bro. Get, leave me alone. Don't fight my enemies. If he kills them, I think I get no mastery, which is the problem. So I need to fight these enemies myself. I might have to go to a VIP server if they have one. All right, ready? Pistol's gonna be open soon. And then, bam! Now I'm level eight! So it's going up pretty fast, but I need to get it to level 20 for it to be like viable. But this is definitely helping as far as uh, mastery goes. Like I'm doing way more damage now. And that's with all my points in it. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Oh, he's giving me a fruit. I don't want it though. I want rubber. I want rubber, bro. Yes. I don't know what fruit that is. Uh, is rubber better? I have rubber. What's what's better, rubber or diamond? I guess he's going to tell me what's better. Is rubber better? Diamond, diamond is better. Okay, I don't know if he's being serious, but he's saying diamond is better than rubber, apparently. Should I use it? Diamond, you can turn into diamond. Ooh. I'm going to be really sad if I eat this and I don't have I don't have the rubber fruit anymore, but I'm listening to this guy, so I'm going to eat it. I'm going to be risky. I'm going to eat the diamond blocks fruit. Now I have a diamond so I can encrust and I can hit X. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Like I went flying and you can literally turn into diamond. Dude, look at me. Oh, I took him out. I got to level six. Not bad at all. This is pretty cool. This is sick actually. Oh my gosh. It's dangerous. I just, I just hit that monkey into the water. Uh... <laughs> That's insane, bro. All right, well, I still have to get this to level... I have to get this to level 80 now if I want to get another ability. So that's pretty tough. Can I like encrust myself and then use like a sword and then level up my mastery? Like, how does that work? Let's see. Did that did that work towards my mastery? Okay, so I'm at 132. Let's see if I if I fight using my sword. Does that help me? I'm encrusted. So 132. Let's see. Let's see if it helps. Just because I'm encrusted. Okay, did it work? Did it work? No, it didn't. So I have to. So encrust does nothing. I have to use my beaming tackle. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Look at this. I didn't even go the right way. I just took down a tree. I didn't even mean to. I didn't even mean to. Oh, this is pain. This is pain. All right, ready? Bam. And then now one more beaming tackle. It just takes forever. Uh, okay, ready? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. So that got me mastery 10, but I need to get to 80 for this. This is so much grinding. I, I don't know what else to do. I got myself a diamond blocks fruit. I, I kind of want to try and fight the gorilla king here. I want to see if I can fight him. Let's take him on. You ready for this? Bam. Oh my gosh. Okay. So just that X did like no damage. And then I start using the rest. Okay. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh, I almost KO'd him. Oh, he did, he's dead. We win. So that gave me tons of mastery. That's how you mastery level up way faster. 
That is much faster. If you use it against like bosses, I didn't realize. So we could take this to 80 and stuff pretty quickly, but that leaves me to ask in the comments, what should I grind for? Should I try to get a new fruit? Should I try to go back to the rubber fruit? Or should I use diamond? What is the best bet as far as blocks fruits that I could use that my guy currently has? Let me know. But today we made it to level 31. We got ourselves a diamond encrusted blocks fruit. And, uh, you know, I guess we made it to a new area. We made it to that pirate area and uh, we're making our way through the game. I know we're kind of making slow progress, but I post one daily video a day. So we should be able to do this much more frequently, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let me know what I should grind for next. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.